came. She was gone for like about three weeks. Worried sick about her. Tried to contact her, went to the police. The first thing they said is like, you know, how old is she? I said, she's 18. And they was like, well, she's able to, you know, just up and leave. She don't need permission for that. But I was like, it doesn't matter. She's missing. They took the report. Then she shows up three weeks later. But I found out she was with some friends. So the friends contacted me. They were saying that my name had told them a story about her being abused by her stepfather. And, you know, then when I went to her with it and I asked her, that's when she told me what was going on since she was five years old. She had told me that he had her to give him oral sex. And I was sitting on the bed and I was like, like, I couldn't believe and stuff. It had, you know, I was taken back for a second when she told me that. My name, that's your uh, mother on tape. What happened between you and uh, your stepfather? Um, when I was five years old, my mom and my stepfather got together and he moved in. And it was after my kindergarten graduation. And Mel came in my room one night and he took me to the playroom. And I remember because on the ceiling it was glow in the dark stickers that me and my older brother used to stick, hang up. And I remember Mel telling me to put my mouth. That's when I was five. Then over the years. Were you, I mean, I know it's hard to look back and remember. Were you scared? Yes. I was scared because he was abusive. He, he did a lot of things. Him and my mom, they did a lot of fighting. So when I was younger, he told me, you know, threatened me if I opened up my mouth, that he would hurt me and my mom. So I kept my mouth shut. And it's not like I was just five. It happened from five to 14 years old. And the abuse was just worse. Like he would take me into parking lots and the cars, make me put my mouth Some nights he used to go in the backyard around to my, to my window, open, tell me open up and pull up my blouse so he could. Do whatever he wanted to. Yeah. Did you try to tell your mom? I tried to tell my mom over there so many times. I used to tell her, Ma, I have to tell you something, like, about Mel, like, and I used to, you know, but when I tried to tell her, she yelled at me, like, she's the type of person that anything you say, she yelled. And she was so defensive when it came to him. When I tried to tell her, she'll yell, and it made me feel like I'm about to get in trouble for opening up my mouth, so I kept my mouth closed. You told her just a few weeks ago? Last week. Last week. What was her reaction? She didn't care. She I didn't told care? her no, and it's not like this is the first time I, I tried to tell her this. I've been trying to tell her over the years that this man been doing stuff to me, but she did not want to listen. And I told her like, "Ma, this happened," and she just looked at me and she started yelling. So now he says that this is uh, there's no truth to what you're saying. That he never had sex with you, and that you're making this up. And he's lying. Excuse you, you're me, making it seem like I'm a liar, Ma. And I've been trying to tell you this for so many if years. If you're trying to tell me something, my nay, you don't sit up there and talk. All right, you I see, don't, how, no, you no, see no, you're no, doing I. the same thing that you was doing before. Well, how can talk but to how you can like you, this? And then you sit up there and you say to people, and say, say to Steve, that, oh, you left out three weeks because he's all, you left me and said no. we was in, we was in, we was, we was in not good. in good. We so was you're not sitting up there terms. when you left and said, when I left, he wasn't even home. Do you believe that your daughter could be lying about this? It had me wondering and stuff like, is she telling me this and stuff to, to take my focus off of what she just did? Because when she told me, it's only a few days that she just came back. So she had never brought up um, when she was younger saying to her siblings, you know, Melvin's a child molester. That's probably like been here more recent and stuff like within the last few months and stuff that she has said that. And I'm like, I was like, why you keep did saying you, that? Did you ask me that? Oh my God! You asked me so why. You, you asked me why I call Mel a child molester. Yes or no? Be honest. You asked me why I, do I, I call Mel a child molester. I kept saying why you yes. saying that to the kids. Yes, yes I did. Con, You're does lying. It All right, you, whatever. There's a concern whatever. that she's telling a very vivid story, right. very detailed, right. which usually when in these sexual assault cases, mm -hmm. when the more details are provided, it tends to be that right. it's true. Did you ever see signs or suspect? Never, never, or suspect? because never. I'm lying. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Mel, why you have to lie? Listen, yes, you are. You never took me to, you never took me to parking lot to make me do oral? 
Did you ever never, make me? Never. You never came. Never. You never came around my my window in the winter time. Lifted up, made me feel like my ass. Yes you don't or no? Play, that. play what? You don't play that. Mel, you know, Monday, you know, you we both know the that. we both know the truth. After this lie detector test, it's going. You're going down. All right. This so was the only way. This was so the only way for me to get it so out. It. It's no more. You can't threaten me no more. You can't. When you did can't I do ever nothing. threaten you? You know, you know, you always I, told me that if I ever up, opened up my talk, mouth, you know, no, you know, you gave, you, you gave, you know, you gave me money all the time to keep my mouth shut. So please, why don't lie? These lie detector tests is about to tell. You about to determine that you're. Whenever I was gonna open my mouth, why did you give me money? So I threatened you. Yes. I gave you money to do what? All, all, you... all the time. You did no. Please stop lying because you know you did this to me. I did and you that just to you. lying. Like I why did that are you? To you? Yes. So why are you just You're saying lying. something? Why are you just saying something? You're lying I'm not because you, a you because I have more power than you now, and it's time for me to speak. You can't so, threaten me no more. Why? That's why I'm saying something now. Stop lying. Uh, my name. You yes. came here and took a lie detector test. And we asked you, did Melvin perform those sex acts with you from ages 5 to 14? You answered yes. You signed and dated the evidence statement. Um, today, did you answer that evidence statement question truthfully? You answered yes. Um, the result came back that you, my nay, told the truth. <laughs> With, nah, what nah, about my, nah. What about my test? We're going to read it. Uh-uh. Melvin, you came here and we asked you, when my nay was under the age of 16, did you ever have physical contact with her for your own sexual gratification? You answered no. When my nay was under the age of 16, did you ever have sexual intercourse with her? You answered no. Did you ever give my nay money after a sex act you performed with her? You answered no. The results came back all the same, and they came back that you, Melvin, did not tell the truth. Thank you! All the cheating and stuff you was doing, you had to mess with a little kid. Oh, I don't. I don't. Listen, let me explain don't, to you. Don't, don't. Let me she explain to you. Don't, that. don't. I told you, you, okay, you, you had doubts. What, what little girl would tell 18 or not, I'm still supposed to be a little girl? Who would lie about something like okay. that? And you went and so I get hard that. for him. I get that. You went hard for him. No, no, no. You did go hard for him. You did go hard for him. You did go hard for him. Because look at it. You still said that. Look at the results. Okay. Why are you yelling at me? Because why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? You think you want to yell at me? I you wrong. OK. I proved you wrong. All right, this time and stuff, you was telling the truth. OK. All right. Shauna, I realize when people especially parents, when they miss the signs of child abuse, right. they become very defensive. Mm. But I would think all this anger should be directed at Melvin. Right? Absolutely. Thankfully, my nay was finally able to get justice after appearing on my show. And as of this taping, Melvin is still in custody, serving his 25-year sentence. We decided to have a girls' night out, so we all went to a bar, Havana, Anita, and I. We met a guy at the bar. We all just were there having a good time. I was the designated driver. Um, there was a guy there that was buying us drinks. Havana was really messed up by the time we were leaving the bar. All four of us left, the guy Anita and Havana and I. Went back to the apartment. I took her upstairs and Havana and I went to Anita's room. So we lay down in Anita's room to watch a movie. A few minutes go by, she's dozing off and she's like, I have to go put on um, pajamas because she was so dressed in the clothes she was wearing all night. From what I heard from Maya that she was so drunk that she wasn't even speaking in full sentence. She learned every single word. Maya had to tell her to go put some clothes on. I realize after 30 minutes, Havana still is not back. I leave my room to head to the living room, and I'm in like mid hallway, and I can see like a good portion of the bed, and I see the guy that Anita's hooking up with laying on the bed facing Havana. Havana's on her back. We just moved in. I felt like this was a messy situation, so I was upset and I left. Uh, Havana, you believe that you were raped by your friend's roommate? Tell me what happened. I was raped by my friend. Anita is my friend as well. We've been friends for two years. There's been no conversation or any, anything that she would get that we would ever have sex. So why she chose 
when I'm not speaking in full sentences, to have sex with me has really been, I've been having anxiety attacks. I'm not able to sleep. I went from weighing in the 130s to the 120s in under a week. I am not OK. The last thing I remember was being on the, they have a small dance floor in this pretty small bar. And he brought me over a drink. And that's the last thing I remember. Clearly. What about our relationship? These last two years has ever given you the vibe that you would ever be able to touch me. Not one. So when you wait, you wait for the one night that I go and have a girls' night with you two, and I'm not speaking full sentences, to have sex with me, that makes you a predator. You preyed on me. You're disgusted. Do you hear me? Everybody is going to hear me today. I would have never had sex with you. Okay. I haven't been able to sleep. I have not been able to eat. I have not been to work. You changed me. She came out to the bed took her own clothes off and laid down and initiated thing, everything herself. The thing that Havana never told anyone. You're lying. Shut. Continue. The thing that Havana never told anyone that before we went out that night, she was drugged off of two ecstasy pills. She didn't uh, say that part. Everybody here knows that. They know. Well, I'm the just making know. sure. The hospital I'm, knows. The police don't so, know. So. so speak on something you know. Okay. Obviously. So you were under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Yes. Okay. But even if, okay, and that's the deal, just because somebody does drugs and drinks, that's not giving consent for sex. And, and that's not, exactly. Havana came here and took a lie detector test. Oh, we know she ain't lying. She and we says. asked her, was the sex that you had with Anita and that man that night consensual? She answered no. Do you have any recollection of having a threesome with Anita and that man that night? She answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Havana told the truth. So she, she, you knew she you was believe me now, sister? I never said I didn't believe you. Did, you, did, you, did, you, did, you did, though. I would never in my life cry rape. And you, I'm not here just trying to get you in trouble. I think you deserve to be. I'm lying, right? I just wanted to cover my tracks, right? No, if I remembered, if I was in my right mind, you would have never had the right or that nasty ass man to touch me. Best believe. Best believe. Anita came here and she took a lie detector test and we asked her, did Havana willingly remove her own pants? You answered yes, you told the truth. Ooh. Did Havana voluntarily lay down in your bed? You answered yes. You told the truth. Did Havana ever verbally or physically resist any sexual activity that night? You answered no. You told the truth. Did Havana lose consciousness at all during sexual activity that night? You answered no. To that question, you did not tell the truth. Woo! Oh, that's even worse. Um, Whoa! I look at this as three young women. You weren't drinking that night, so I exclude you. A couple of young women that drank too much. And perception is in the eye of the beholder. You were under the perception. You, a lot of the questions you answered, you told truthfully. She comes out, she takes her clothes off, she engages in sex. The only question you didn't pass for, did she ever lose consciousness? Mm -hmm. Well, she did. You didn't tell the truth on that one. So it is probably people looking at this incident with two different perceptions. You thinking, this is OK, this is what we're doing. And you say, I don't remember at all, and I was taken advantage of. I never was trying to say that you forced me to have sex. I'm saying you took advantage of somebody who was obviously drunk. And for the fact that you failed that question, that I passed out at a certain point, Tells me you know how wrong you are. I'm disgusted by you, but this will not break me. I promise you. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too.